guys, how's it going? I'm Lewis and welcome back to the beautiful Minecraft on the Xbox One. We are in our tree forest today because we're trying, there's our house, right, right over there. But we're trying to make, we're trying to make something, we're trying to make this, I don't know what it is, we're trying to do, I'm trying to make a house out of wood. It's night time, it's terrifying, I haven't brought any of the right ingredients to make another path. But we have made this. And I feel like we've accomplished at least something with what we've we've done today. So welcome to this hole of hell. I, d I don't even know what it is. I don't know what we've done, guys. We've made something petrifying. But I kind of like I'd like to I'd like to make a house, and I think this is this is why I've I've done this. Can we? Can I? Oh, I can. How big have we made this place? Is this even? Have I made this? E no, I haven't. Well done, Lewis. Yeah. Oh, but this is the other tree. <gasps> oh, I've got an idea. Oh, this is brilliant. I'm a genius. Okay, let me just fix this. I feel like... No, I can't fix that. I need to pop around the corner. There we go. Good. We can now fix it. If I die via something, some... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just thinking this may be the best idea that I... I don't know how high I can go, but I want to do something like this. It's like Tetris, but it's not kind of Tetris. We're kind of... We're building... This is all I done yesterday, and I feel like this is all I'm doing today. And you guys are gonna be like, Lewis, why are you not doing anything practical with your life? And I'm like, hey, I'm making YouTube videos. I'm doing a let's play of of Minecraft, which tons of other YouTubers do, but somehow you picked me, and I really appreciate that. And you guys, I couldn't have asked for anything more in my life. I'm, just, I'm so done with this. Everyone's gonna, don't unsubscribe, please. I love you all. You're all beautiful. I've got water. I could just make a, a water thing. Anyway, right, my plan is to kill that, that glowing helmeted zombie downstairs, which is very strange. I don't want to. That's a very cruel thing to do. No one ever kill anyone. Oh, good. I've reached the top. Fantastic. Right. I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to wreck that. Can I... Is there any way of not... Oh, my... This is great. I could make a house up here. This is... I could so make a house. I'm going to make a house. It's going to happen. This is now... This top bunk of tree is my house. I just need to find a reasonable way to get up there. And I'll be happy. Right. Ah! Thank you. Right, let's not die by doing this. But I'd like to... Look at that! Oh, that's incredible. That's absolutely... Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Seriously, guys. I don't even know what's wrong with me. But thank you so much for wondering about my health and my life. It's very kind of you. All, the, all that I know and all that I care about is... My loved ones. Because <laughs> I know that they all feel as sorry for me as I do. Right. Oh, or sorry for you as I do. I don't even know. I don't. I don't know what's going on. I'm just. Having, I'm having a good day. It's. I don't know. It's the holidays. It's. It's a weird one. It's. A, it's a very strange one. I could con completely ramble. It's been a weird couple of days, to be honest. I mean, I told you yesterday. I went to went to a, a secret speakeasy in London. There was a. There was a. I didn't even finish that story. There was a secret bookcase. You had to. They, you had to send in a case for this detective, right? And the story, right? My my case story about getting getting into this speakeasy. Um, it was called Evans and Peels. It's in London. Um, it's in it's in Chelsea in London. And basically, you had to you had to make up a story, right, about uh, something to get in, which is even better. You know, life couldn't get as as more exciting as a. I feel like I'm gonna fall and die. It's a very very interesting fact that might happen. I I reckon it will. Anyway, besides the point. So basically, here's here's the gist. Oh no, that's oak. I don't want oak. I li I, Lewis, you live in a jungle for it. You can get more tree. It's fine. Uh, so my story, right? I went with my friend Steph, and this is another Steph, not the Steph. You, this is my other friend Steph. I have loads of friends called Steph. It's fine. And so basically, we we got into this 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 speakeasy. How did I climb that? Oh yes. Oh sugar! I haven't even finished this tree. Oh nuts! How about here? Oh no! Oh that's it. I do need to cut through here. Cut. Lewis, wrong wrong. How do I do this? Oh sugar. Oh no! Wait a second. No, I've realised. Uh, no, 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 everything's fine. Everything's okay. It's this one I need. Then I can climb up here. And that that should work. Yes. That's how I roll. Yes! No. Oh no. Oh, I need a side I need a side bit. Okay. So my my our story, right, to get into this place was um I I, I so I, I had to I had to book an appointment with them and say that our um our Shih Tzu was abducted, right, in the fictional village of Omar. It's just west of Wales, right? And 
there was a blackmail letter. There was a blackmail letter that was left for us stating that we had to come up with the available funds, right? Um, or otherwise our Shih Tzu would be murdered. Right? Gets better. Our Shih Tzu holds the powers of, if, if, of immortality. Now, our Shih Tzu isn't Im immortal, but it's a family heirloom and the Shih Tzu has been passed from father to son to son to son to son for, for, for 125 years, right? And basically, this, this Shih Tzu, um, when killed, the person who kills the Shih Tzu by draining its blood and drinking it would gain the powers of immortality. Uh, this is a good book. I might have to write this. This is great. This is yeah. I'm happy with this. Right. Anyway, besides the point. This Shih Tzu, right? Um, th and and the and the person who left the blackmail letter saying if you don't come up with a million pounds, we will kill your Shih Tzu, take its powers of immortality, and we will use it for evil. Right. Now that's the, the story ends there pretty much. But but the the, the interesting. <laughs> the, the interesting thing is that that we had to buzz on this bell of Evans and Peels in the middle of Chelsea, um, in what was it, Eld Street, and he had to he had to question us about this this case, and I felt so sorry for this guy. He's like, "Hi, are you are uh, you Lewis?" And I'm like, "Yes, I'm I'm Lewis." And this is this is Stephanie. It's like, "Well, I hear you're uh, you're you're after uh, you you want to you want to solve the case of your missing Shih Tzu." I'm like, yes, I'd very much like to. It's a family heirloom. Right, so uh, you say this the Shih Tzu holds the powers of immortality. It's a very, very rare Shih Tzu. <laughs> I was in hysterics. <laughs> it was great. Anyway, this is a, this is an episode of me rambling about my Shih Tzu. Right, um, I must continue the powers of... Wait, have I got more... I do have more jungle wood. Good. Flesh and flesh. Lovely. Right, this is where we must climb. Oh, this is going to be terrible. I must, I must climb. Um... I should put a door, or a doorbell. I should put a doorbell. We're gonna climb. Um, sticks. This is gonna be the best. Wait, no, I want, I want jungle wood. Stop. There we go, jungle planks. How do I only have, oh, that's fine. Sticks, and then loads and loads of, done. Right, 27, we'll do. One, two, three, four. I'm not gonna count all of these guys. Anyway, so that was my adventure, and we went in there and I had a few cocktails, and we only had one. They're very expensive, it was Chelsea, but the food was cheap. The portion was tiny. <laughs> Probably why it was so cheap. Um, and that was that was uh, that was my Tuesday. So that was a good fun day. And then we were still hungry, so we went to the pub. So there's always a, a plus sign to any adventure. The pub. If anyone's been to an English pub, it was stereotypically English, and I loved it. Um, I'm a very I'm a very big pub goer. Am I? Uh, I suppose so. I do like the I do like going to the pub. I prefer a pub than a bar. No, it depends what kind of bar. Speakeasy bar. Fantastic speakeasy. I'm very confused about how this Steve is. Um, I'm very, it's very dark here. I do not like darkness. I do, well, I'm not scared of the dark, but you know. Right, okay, I'm gonna keep on going. We'll, we'll keep on doing. I have good news, guys, is that today? Oh, is it today? Might be today. I'm gonna be um, releasing Mirror's Edge. That's always, that's always great fun. Oh, I've run out of ladders. Oh, sugar. Right, I'm good, I'm fine. It's nothing bad. I've still got, oh, now it's daytime. <sighs> that's confusing. Okay, done. I'm not, oh, I, I was gonna say I'm not gonna use up all of my jungle wood, but hey, look at me lying. Under my skin. Ladders. Sorted. 27 again. Very interesting. Very interesting number, 27. If anyone's ever realised that. Right. Don't know why it's interesting, but I just now think this is very interesting. Maybe for the fact that it, that was planned. Right. Okay. Hello. I'm here. Thank you. For that piece of wood. Right. Here we are. Don't know where here is. Yes. This is where, this is where I want to be. It's a good place. This is it. This is it. This is home. Almost home. How do I get out of the ladder? Oh, like so. Right. This is going to be great. How do we do this? How am I do? I reckon we should continue with the, the jungle wood placement. You know, keep it all jungle woodish. I don't know how. I hear a bee. I don't like this. It's horrible. I and my mic's buzzing, and I don't know why. Terrible days. Terrible, terrible days. Might need to, might need to stop that and figure this out. Right, we are home. Welcome to Jungle Heaven with Lewis. Oh, that sounds terrible. Welcome to Jungle Heaven with Lewis. This is this is my Jungle Heaven. Look at this, Jungle Haven. Oh, I love it. I'm already. I feel like I'm home. This is great. This is a beautiful. That's not breaking, is it? I haven't broke the tree. This is a great place to. I would live here. 
If I could make a treehouse, guys, this is this is the treehouse that I think I'd live in. Yeah, it's a very strange treehouse to live in, but I I definitely live in a treehouse. What is falling to the? What is going on? I miss. I want to jump down there and see what's happening. It's good. It'll... Will I die if I jump? Mm. No. Good. Man. Let me. Oh, I hear a skeleton. There's wooden trees and saps and skeleton. Yes. Is this clay? No, I was going to say I looked for ages for clay and then I didn't find it. Right, well, that was fun. What a great adventure. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm loose. My lovely audience, we have enjoyed this beautiful episode. Dexter's waiting patiently. And I shall see you all tomorrow for some more tree building for Nascos, unless you're all finding it incredibly boring. But I'm sure you're not, because I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Look at this tree. Look at it go. I'm going to live up there. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>